Hello everyone! Today we will discuss the broadcast program formats and the stages of production. Though both are considered broadcast media, radio and television differ in terms of broadcast features or attributes. Television program formats are almost similar to the broadcast program formats in radio. In the current setting, television and TV programs can be accessed through free channels, cable channels, and of course, in the internet. So at the end of the discussion, you are expected to identify the types of broadcast program formats and classify the different stages of broadcast program production. Let's start it with a quick game. So I will show a picture of a program in radio or in television. Then in three seconds, you will identify the type of program. So we have two program formats, the dramatic and non-dramatic formats. So under these two formats, we have different types of programs. Okay, game. TV Patrol in 24 horas. This is... What type of program is this? This is a news program. Whether a straight newscast or commentary, this type depends on the personality of the broadcaster and the confidence which can arouse the audience. So it can be in a form of newscast or in a form of news reporting. Next, Bawalang Pasaway kay Maring Mini. This is a discussion program. It expands beyond the bounds of a pattern of questions and answers and becomes discussion. The group discussion format is popular in radio, in television, or even in the internet. Next, Pilipinas. Game ka na ba? This is a type of game quiz and contents. It is a type of program being aired for television or being aired in television wherein the contestants are given prizes or sometimes it is made just for fun or for excitement. Next, best exercise over 50 for over 50 women. So this is a type of women's program. It features news and interviews of interest to women and such homemaking features. Example, cooking, decorating, and fashion. So this program focuses on exercises for women aging 50. Next, high five. This is a children's program. It is usually animated or focuses on cartoon programs for children with such elements as live animals, children's songs, and brief educational features. Next, Discovery Channel. This is an educational program. It is produced by or in cooperation with educational institutions such as university, library or museum whether on commercial or non-commercial channels educational broadcasts tend to be either general education shows or instructional or it focuses on instructional lessons it's uh, it also covers informal cultural or informative programs next salamat talk this is an informative program. It is understood to be informal explorations of public affairs, current events, and problems, and similar introductions to the world around us. Next, the 700 Club Asia. This is 
a religious program. It is presented by stations as a public service or by individual denomination or churches which buy the time to broadcast such programs as brief meditation, modified services from the churches, discussion or conversations based on spiritual and ethical problem. Last, as up, this is a variety or musical program. It shows a good talent through good songs and dances can be made to look or sound better through a winning MC or skillful presentation. So we have the non-dramatic programs, the news programs, discussion programs, games, quizzes, and contents, the children programs or children's programs, informative programs, religious programs, and variety programs. Next, we have the non-dramatic programs. Again, another picture. Forevermore. Do you still remember this? This is a kind of serials. Descendants of radio or television soap operas most commonly presented on videotape. Their formula involves a series of continuing events involving two or three principal characters. Next, Pepito Manaloto. This is a sitcom dramatic writing to get the audience into laughable predicaments with funny antics and humors on a half hour run which is the traditional length for situation or family comedy just last saturday they aired a new format for the pipito manalota via zoom okay so that is a new type of program production next Kapag may katwiran, ipaglaban mo. This is a detective drama program. Whether the hero be a private eye, a sheriff, a detective, or a uniformed police officer, he is one against violence on principle but constantly indulging in its practice. This is also called police story or mystery in their attempt to avoid the loaded word crime. This type of action drama seeks to solve the crime, prevent it, avenge it, or to face its perpetrator to justice. Next, Ikaw ang bida sa kwento mo. This is an anthology series. Anthology or series from various scripts of different writers presented each week receiving the greatest serious critical attention. As the dramatic serials became almost exclusively a film product, anthologies became few and far between. These are rare instances of drama series with a common mood or atmosphere. Last, one more chance with Popoy and Basha. This is dramatic special. This is a special drama program produced on a monthly or, or irregular basis by such a sponsor. A full-length drama or musical drama running from 90 minutes to 2 hours that can be seen under these circumstances. As well-known works, the drama special is built around an original review host or original review, host, composer, or writer with an original script. Okay, so this is usually aired on cinemas. So we have five different dramatic programs. The serials, situation comedies, detective dramas, anthology series, and the dramatic special. So, we have the different types of programs under dramatic and non-dramatic programs. Writing for broadcast takes a different level of skills than writing for print. 
the writer must use all of the techniques that he or she has learned in writing for print and must refine those techniques for broadcast copy or for broadcast production. Each of the program type requires different stages or different level of production. Next, we will discuss the different stages or general stages of production, the production process. This refers to the stages or phases required to complete a media product from the idea to the final master copy. The process can apply to any type of media production including the film, the video, television, and audio recording. So these programs can be aired through internet. Let's start with the pre-production. So in the first stage of production, it is a fairly loose term which refers to the tasks undertaken before production begins. Exactly what is included in this stage depends on the medium and the situation. So in this stage, you are doing all of the meetings with the clients, research, storyboarding, location planning, and activities are being done before the actual production wherein the idea is born. Of course, there will be a conceptualization, the plan of action. So you will identify if your program is a talk show or talk show, discussion program, interview, drama, or a documentary. You will also draft or write and finalize the script for the program. You need to interview or coordinate with the sources, with the staff, with the clients in this stage, and of course, there would be rehearsals. So part of the pre-production phase is the location scouting, Props and wardrobe identification, special effects, production schedule, set contract or set construction, script locking, script reading. So meaning before you start the production stage or the production process, before you record it or you produce it live, all of the requirements should be prepared in the pre-production phase. Next phase, the production. The actual process of recording or, or live production is being done in this phase. So all the actors are on set and all the cameras are rolling. So this is also called the principal photography. So we are recording all of the programs. The goal of principal photography is obviously to record all the required shots so meaning in this stage you will present everything whether live or can't pick up shots may be required when a mistake is noticed a script changed is made the last phase is the post-production wherein the recorded materials are being edited being promoted so this is the last phase of the production for radio, for television, or for the internet. The post-production stage is time-consuming. last and final stage of production. It is time consuming stage for the production of program for radio, for television, or even in internet. So we have three stages of production. The pre-production, the production, and the post-production. So all of the programs for the different platforms undergo different stages of Production. So you can produce a program without a pre-production stage, without even drafting your script 
for a certain show. Even the live programs, the live newscast programs undergo pre-production. All of the reporters, all of the writers are deployed in different areas in their different bit assignments to look for stories and produce it to interview, to record, to edit all of the scripts needed for the newscast program. So we need to undergo these different stages of production. So I hope we were able to meet all of our objectives in this lesson. Okay, to end this one, I will leave you with this assignment. Thank you.